everybody, happy Wednesday. Uh, today I thought I'd do a video blog uh, rather than writing because I wanted to show you how to make a balloon model um, and much easier via video than having to write down instructions. So today I wanted to show you a puppy dog. I do balloon modelling at loads of my parties, uh, the children love it um, and it's a really great thing for me to be able to do whilst they're having their party food. Um, so I'm still really engaged with the kids um, and they all get to take a blue model home. Uh, when I'm doing blue models at parties, loads of you, mums and dads, ask me how I do it. Um, I was originally uh, taught by a friend how to do a couple of blue models and um, from now onwards really, since then, since she taught me, I use YouTube. Because uh, there's some really great um, kind of video tutorials on there for loads of different blue um, animals and models, so that's how I learn all the different ones. Um, but today I'm doing a dog, which is nice and simple, um, and the first thing really is not to be worried about it. Uh, sometimes they do go pop, not very often, but sometimes they do, but the worrying about it is worse than it actually happening, because it's just so over and done with very quickly if it does pop. So what you need um, to do a balloon puppy doggy is um, a blue modelling balloon like this one. I use, I've got a packet here to show you, uh, Quartra Tex. These are the balloons that I use and I get them off eBay. Um, I usually get them in their hundreds because I go through them quite quickly. Um, but they're really really good ones um, and they come in loads of different colours. Uh, I usually need quite a lot of pink, surprise surprise. So yeah, just a balloon like this and a balloon pump like this one and pop the balloon on the end and hold it in place and then you blow it up to about just over four fingers left at the end so don't inflate the whole thing because as you're twisting the air will move down into this bit so you need some space otherwise it definitely will go pop so it's kind of four to five fingers at the end that I've left there and I always let out a little bit of air at this end like that just make it a little bit easier to tie tie your balloon off like so and you can give it a little straighten as well just like that so you've got your balloon just like this, ready to go. And you start at the end with the knot on. So you always start at this end because then the air can move down into the gap at the bottom. So you start at this end here and we're gonna make a nose first. This is gonna be the little nose. So you just squeeze the balloon, squeeze and twist like that. So that's your first nose. You then need to do two more of these and that's about kind of just over a one inch bubble. So we're going to do two more for the ears, so squeeze and twist, and squeeze and twist. So you've got three. And then I'm going to attach these two bits. So I pull these two knots together, these two twists, and give it a twist like so. Now for this bit, just don't be worried about the popping. You might have to practice a few times um, just to, to get more comfortable with it. But um, yeah, just you've got to be quite firm and give it a good old twist. So you've got the head and the two ears now. And now, as I say to all the kiddies, how many legs does a puppy dog have? Four. So we need to do the legs. So we start with the neck. So it's a squeeze and a twist. And then we're going to do two legs. Squeeze and twist. Fold it over. This is the way that I find it easiest to hold. But I know that other people have got different techniques. So I've got two legs. And again those two together like so. I've got two legs at the front and then I'm going to do another squeeze. This is going to be the body and two legs like that. So I've made two legs the same shape and it gives me just a bobble at the end. Bring those two together and twist around. And there you have a little puppy doggy. Um, you can also, if you want to make it a little bit of a poodle, squeeze this at the end in half and push the air to the end like so. So we've got a little bit of a poodle tail there. And obviously you can do them any colour you'd like. So it's three short bubbles at the top and squeeze the little knots together. A neck and then 
to the same length and twist for the legs, a body and to the same length and twist for the back legs and you're left with a little bobble. Have a little go at that and you have success, your children will be super duper impressed. Um, so do give it a go at home um, and I'm sure uh, I will pop other things on there as well um, on the blog post that you can give a go. But everyone have a lovely Wednesday and I hope you all get to go outside this evening um, and get some sun. Thanks so much, bye!